This is Module 5, Lesson 3, Compose and Decompose Right Rectangular Prisms Using Layers. Here we have four cubes in a square formation stacked vertically, two layers with two cubes in each layer. The volume of this rectangular prism is four cubic centimeters. We're going to add another layer horizontally, so another layer next to the first one. The volume of this rectangular prism would be 8 cubic centimeters. There's 4 in the back layer and 4 in this front layer that I just put in, 8 cubic centimeters. Now we're going to add 3 more layers next to the first two. We now have 20 cubic centimeters, and there are several ways to find that out. We started with 8 and added 12 more, and that was 20. Or there are 5 along the bottom and 2 layers going back, so that makes 10, and 2 layers going up, and that makes 20. Or we knew that we had 20 cubes to start with, used them all, and made and had 20 in our figure, in our rectangular prism. Looking at this blank rectangular prism, let's record how we built those layers. How many layers did we build in all? We had five, so we'll show that by partitioning the prism into five layers. Here are our five layers. We think about how many cubes we had in each layer, and we had four cubes in each layer, so we're going to record that on each layer. Here's a number sentence that expresses the volume of this prism using these layers. We have 4 cubic centimeters plus 4 cubic centimeters plus 4 cubic centimeters plus 4 cubic centimeters plus 4 cubic centimeters. That's 20 cubic centimeters. We could also just write it as 5 times 4 cubic centimeters equals 20 cubic centimeters. Notice there are two ways to write cubic centimeters. Cm with a raised 3 means cubic centimeters, or I can use the word cubic and the abbreviation CM for centimeters. They both mean cubic centimeters. Here's another way to show the layers in that rectangular prism. The prism was two units high, so we could cut the prism in half horizontally from left to right, and there would be 10 cubes in each one. We could make a top layer of 10 cubes, and a bottom layer of 10 cubes. So that we would have 10 cubic centimeters plus 10 cubic centimeters, which equals 20 cubic centimeters. Or 2 times 10 cubic centimeters equals 20 cubic centimeters. Here's another way we could divide that rectangular prism. We could divide it horizontally into two separate layers that have 10 in the front and 10 in the back. It would be the exact same number sentence that we used for the one above, the 2 times 10 cubic centimeters equals 20 cubic centimeters. This chart shows that in the first way we divided up our rectangular prism, we had 5 layers with 4 in each layer, 20 cubic centimeters. The next one shows that we had 2 layers with 10 in each layer, 20 cubic centimeters. And in the next one, we had two layers with 10 in each layer, 20 cubic centimeters. Now we're going to draw the different layers together. First, we started with the empty rectangular prism. Then we'll draw vertical lines to show the five layers of four cubes that remind us sort of of bread slices. We're kind of slicing our rectangular prism. Next, we draw a horizontal line that might remind us of the layers in a cake. Finally, we draw a horizontal and a vertical line so that we can show the front layers and the back layers of our rectangular prism. The volume of this prism is 20 cubic centimeters. Now I've built a prism that has one 3 cube by 3 cube layer. Its volume is 9 cubic centimeters. Let's add another layer on top of that. The volume of this prism would be 18 cubic centimeters, 
we have, because we have two groups of nine. Two layers with nine cubes in each is 18 cubic centimeters. Now we're going to add another layer. With one more layer added, the volume is 27 cubic centimeters. And the shape that we have is a cube because it is three by three by three. This is a cube. Here we have a rectangular prism that is three across, four long, and five high. We're going to imagine what the bottom layer of this prism would look like. The bottom layer would be three rows with four cubes in each row. There would be 12 cubes in all. Three wide, four long, one cube high. Here's the same rectangular prism, but without the unit cubes. We could do a horizontal slice and show that we would have 12 in each layer. The drawing shows that there are five layers in all and 12 in each layer. The volume of a single layer would be 12 cubic centimeters. We have five layers, so five times 12 cubic centimeters is 60 cubic centimeters. We could slice our rectangular prism vertically instead of horizontally, and if we did that, going from the left side to the right side, we would get three slices that have 20 cubes each because they are four by five, 20 cubes each. Three times 20 cubic centimeters would be 60 cubic centimeters. One other way to slice our rectangular prism would be to slice it vertically on the edge right here. And if we did that, each slice would be three across and five high, or 15. We would have four of those. Four times 15 cubic centimeters equals 60 cubic centimeters.